What is up, you guys? Damn it, here, bro, with some more movies and game media. Today, guys, we actually got some news about the Wonder Woman 3 update. If you guys are new to this channel, please be sure to leave a like on this video. Also, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's get into Wonder Woman 3 news. Now, it actually has been confirmed yesterday that Patty Jenkins' Star Wars World Squadron has been pushed back due for due to scheduling conflicts with Wonder Woman 3. That's what is alleged, but they did say scheduling conflicts with a certain film. And fans are thinking that is Wonder Woman 3. And I also think that as well, because we actually got a lot of news posts um, DC fandom for this project. First, this is being 100% official, 100 official that Linda Carter would be in Wonder Woman 3 as Astria. We actually got a post credit scene with her in Wonder Woman 1984, and she will be playing a larger role in the sequel. Now, what her role technically is going to be, um, we really don't know because it's supposed to be a new character. Um, but I think, I think, just hear me out, that they actually could combine Cersei and her character into one. Uh, obviously, you know, Cersei in Marvel has been portrayed by Gemma Chan. It's a different character, nothing like the one in the DC universe, but the name is still the same. But yeah, I think the name change would be appropriate. As you guys don't know, she was actually the champion before Diana, and she was actually exiled because she was in, you know, outside of the mascara. So that would be a great storyline for her going forward for her being the exiled Amazon to not being the villain of the story. But I think that would be a great story. What do you guys think about that? But according to Grace Randolph, they are heavily considering adding Sasha Kaye, Supergirl, to the film. Now, if she is in the film, I am super excited. It seems they really like Sasha Kaye's Supergirl over at DC. So I am super excited for her getting any other opportunity that may present itself. But um, I just got to be honest. I am hearing that there's going to be like a versus type of movie well wonder woman 3 is going to be a versus type movie so maybe maybe amazons versus the atlanteans i think it would be great as well and this film could be fast tracked just because the events of the flash film now of course we all have been hearing that diana will show up in this movie make it like a little cameo that's why she was in london filming uh but yeah I mean, I literally have a couple of things that I really want Wonder Woman 3 to achieve. And that's one, bring it back, Alan Heinberg. I think it was a huge mistake to let him go with Wonder Woman 1984. I don't know what Patty Jenkins was thinking, but I hope she apologized to him and bring him back on board because obviously it shows that he helps. And also please add to the mythology of Wonder Woman. This is their third film and it's really haven't outside of the first film really hasn't added to the mythology of Wonder Woman. Yeah, we had the whole Wish Stone in the sequel, but it really didn't do much, to be honest. I think it was just a wasted opportunity. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it can add to the whole mythology of Wonder Woman, introduce new characters like Nubia, Yara Floor, and other characters, Donna Troy, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, that's really all I got for you guys today. What do you guys think about Wonder Woman 3 update? Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys soon for more videos. Peace.